myself. I'm never gonna say this, although I'm curious. Uh, but the beds here are so nice. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Here we are at last. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the Underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Ronya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. Your Elo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is, soon. That's right. That's the path of the Nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest, or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee, whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like 
a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. I just now notice I have my mic off. Let me say again. What's, what are you doing here? Are you supposed to supervise all the species and back back here? Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Klopoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the Architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. So that's how I take control of the but... <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. Again, kind of only consider that you can get the character in your party if you have the luck. Is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Welt may be better equipped to answer that, but if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. So did we actually seal it and not destroy it? When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time allowing Welt and I to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it.
Oh, get that is for some techno battle, but from here. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himako is, we've pretty much run out of topics. Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. I wonder who those could be. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you. But Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himako was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> And she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise, get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Pom Pom, we're back. Shh, checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. Good to see you too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. Fifty six percent. Fifty seven percent. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the express. Oh, welcome back to the express. You've accomplished your trailblaze mission. The express appreciates your help. Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Pom's checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Ugh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget, next time! We're gonna pay. The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. <laughs> Thank you, conductor. Right away. To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the express has reached cruising speed.
wow, my DMs are filling up almost like I was out of internet all day. But yeah, this is gonna be kind of the closer of this. Now, so is this gonna be a short video? Can you stop playing a game for one second? Like I was saying, this is gonna be four because I don't want to start the next chapter that is gonna be the day after. Okay, should I actually do this side quest with him? Because I start to see him sad. So, a little story. I was trying to kind of do some stuff, but I guess I'm kind of stuck here. So I have to continue with the story. So, let's continue with the, the story apparently. Yep, I cannot exit, so I guess we have to go on with this. Hello? Hello? It's about time we hit the road, passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and will be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Do catch it. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Evil. <laughs> of five people. Three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll... I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. Maybe I should actually change the melody and the tree. I didn't change it at all since we left. Although I, I wonder if I can set up randomly. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Morning. You're very punctual. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. Okay, I think this one works for now. Asa, what are you doing here? Passengers, the warp navigation.
Commission meeting has officially begun. Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? She's Apologies a steel the scene. for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? This guy just seems a little cut. Maybe it's just me, but... Eh, hey, I saw so far the clips from the beta, but... Hmm. Doesn't concern me. Then again... A corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. What? Oh, make her and save up for her for a long time. Trust me. And second, chemical. That word, do you really have to say that now you're gonna be sick with? Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? The Xianzhou Law Foo? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Although they are still in turn, they're not to train them out to see chaos. Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? Shush, 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 seven. 
But oh, the other two, you know, Glade may not be a friend. Seven, no, not seven. Nev and Kafka are gonna be friends. So get along. Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the La Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. No, don't go! I gotta get you. March, get Don Hung. 